Hello, this is going to be painful. This, this nice thing uh, about Mesh is that it's so variable. You can do so many things with it, including the color. Example. Let's create an object like um, a soccer ball. Go to the Mesh menu. Create a Mesh network. Go to Distribute, center the distribution, reduce the number of points to maybe four or five. And um, now go back to Mesh, which is currently Mesh 3 because I've uh, experimented a little bit with it. Uh, in your case, it will pr probably be called Mesh 1. You go to the color, add a color node, and they all turn white. And uh, you can change the color now. Where is the color here? Uh, go to this um, icon, change everything to red, and a random distribution like this, and uh, you're done. I have a sky dome light in the scene and uh, a disk where the soccer balls are placed on, so I can just render it with Arnold and watch what's coming out of this gray soccer balls. Well, this is difficult. Uh, you can go to the mesh repro mesh here and uh, right mouse click, assign a new material, for example an Arnold surface shader, and you will see the color change now. Arnold renders white and now you can play with the colors, for example, set the color to green. So all of them will be green. Render them. So that's the way to render them without the mesh color node. At least we achieved this. Okay, um, we need to do, I think, three things and that's the painful process now and I think it will be fixed in the in the future but uh, until now we stay here mesh repro mesh go to this icon here and export vertex colors don't ask me why we switch this on then we go here and color per vertex needs to be switched on okay let's just repeat this uh, go to the mesh repro mesh shape and uh, activate export color vertex go to the mesh repro and color per vertex should be exported now um, go to the shader here right mouse click material attributes that's the green one we just chose and now you need to go here and um, type in data here when you go to utilities you find uh, a few Arnold AI that is uh, data uh, utilities and you need the data color so before I activate this uh, here you go to color that's the repro mesh color here the one we chose as green as a standard uh, surface shader here as green now you replace the green color by AI user data color. Well, the green is gone again and now <laughs> type in it's not my fault color set. Again don't ask me why. Now let's render this and we have a nice color distribution. Jesus. Now we go back to the mesh here uh, the mesh color and we can change the color set here I mean the basic color to say green and you see it will update accordingly I describe the steps you have to take in the description below why don't you see that in the viewport I have no idea test to do something with mesh display and toggle display color attributes but it doesn't change a thing here ask the specialists